This is Victoria. <laughs> your good, uh, your good soul, good spirit. I'm not going to pretend that I'm a hiker. In fact, I try to avoid it. Therefore, I do not have proper hiking shoes. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose, and today we're going on another adventure. We're going to a very special place. It's an hour and a half drive away from here, Mount Sinai, supposedly where Moses biblically was told to free people and get the Ten Commandments. Come along with me, let's do an outfit of the day first. <laughs> outfit of the day to go see the Ten Commandments site. Yes. <laughs> so, I debated on what to wear today because this is a very long hike. It's good to wear a bit of layers in the hot sun. This is pure handmade, hand-dyed cotton. And then I have these Japanese shoes, which I got the back of my foot rubbed on them when I was walking before, so I still have the, the wound there, so I did, hopefully it doesn't get too irritated, but it's really, really annoying. And then I just, I'm gonna put a scarf on if it gets too, too hot. That's my outfit of the day. Also, I curled my bangs because it keeps it on my face. We um, scheduled a taxi to take us there, and we'll do that first, and then go see the mountain with a Bedouin. Oh. Uh, while we're driving, I'll explain what a Bedouin is. The English word Bedouin comes from the Arabic Bada, which means desert dweller. And they are desert dwellers who traditionally have herded goats and um, camels and everything. They are usually in clans and tribes, but they're very nomadic people. They know so much about the land and the desert and the stars and everything. And they're just very simple people from what I've experienced. We took an hour and a half taxi ride from Dahab to get to St. Catherine. Um, I just thought I'd throw this clip in there. I thought these toilets were really difficult to use. Once in St. Catherine, we met up with Muhammad and his brother, and he is gonna take us on a day long hike. So we're gonna spend the entire day learning from the Bedouins. Oh, that's strong. Victoria. Included with the hike is water and food for the day. So we got some water and then we began our hike up the mountain. And let me tell you, yes, it was very, very, very hot. Shut up. It's really good. It was a very relaxed hike, and we were able to stop and take breaks, which was nice. I don't just eat banana, eat yeah, I have a banana. Huh? A banana? Yeah, okay. That's what I want to Banana. This used to be a coffee shop. This used to be a coffee shop? Yeah, yeah, this. Uh, yeah. And, uh, how is it a coffee shop? No, oh. here. Okay. Out here, he is, you're building like tents outside. Hmm. And just a minute, Mahabaya. Cooking there? Yeah, and after the revolution. Gentleness. Gentleness. Okay. You're a tawadu. 
Big tree? Like baby? First the black. Black. See the green? Oh yeah, I see. There's some over there. I see the one right there. Oh, big tree! Baby, baby. The Safarjan. Oh, Sparjan! Sparjan is in the Maghreb. Sparjan is it's like apple, but it's not an apple. It's a... Uh, I can't remember the, the English name. It's incredible how much life grows out of the desert. I had no idea. It was so fertile. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. We stopped at this berry tree and I can't remember the name, but the berries were very good and nothing like I've ever tasted. And we stopped to have coffee and tea. These rocks are pink. Hmm. What kind of berry is that? His family, one person got married to Japanese, oh. one to Slovenian, one to Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's different. I've never tasted it like that. It's strong. It's good. The Bedouin coffee. What makes it different? Mm, we made by ourselves. We roast it, roast it. You boost many things inside. Uh, Spicy a little bit. Jaws in Hind. Do you want to try it? It says camel. It's got like cloves. Oh, that's what it is. Um, yeah, what is like it? The wheel. Cardamom. The Bedouin coffee was really good. Bedouins are also known for having a lot of nice spices. <laughs> no, you have to use two hands. Oh. This one here. You can tie it to all together. Like yes. Like this? Yeah, scratch, scratching. Like this? Scratch, scratch. Like this. Milk, milk. Oh. What's this do? Yeah, what is. Uh, <laughs> You don't feel nothing? I don't feel anything. <laughs> soap! What is it? Soap. Soap? soap. Does it yeah. not feel fresh? Oh, yeah, I feel clean. <laughs> no, no, you feel uh, milk? milk like creamy. Sweating. Oh, yeah, actually. Oh. Like a uh, soft. Yeah, soft. Yeah. yeah. Cream. Interesting, uh, yeah. Soap, soap. Okay. Huh. Yeah, if you, you catch the fruit, okay, and you catch the fruit, eat after this. You, you wash your hands so you don't have the stains. Ah. <laughs> Good service. Soap. soap. Nice. Nice and clean. I eat much, you eat one. <laughs> Have a seat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hand? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This is the highest point in Egypt, 2,600 meters, St. Catherine Mountain. It was then time to stop for our full meal at another Bedouin's house. I always love to learn about different cultures and take in what they say and try it out myself. 
While we were waiting for the food, they said we could go to and see the pool, and Mohammed let me use his sandals. <coughs> Swimming pool. This is an actual pool. <laughs> Looks kind of terrifying to go into. <laughs> we have to. Are you gonna do it? I love these dragon flies, but they just need some more. Oh, that feels so good. It was time to eat and they brought us uh, all this really yummy food and all very vegetarian friendly. There was only one dish that had tuna in it. I've said it before but I believe the Egyptians are the most hospitable people that I have met thus far. Since it's so hot, it is pretty normal to take a nap midday, especially after you eat. Shaban. And this is? This is me. Mohammed. Yes, Mohammed. This is Victoria. <laughs> your, good, uh, your good soul, good spirit. <laughs> yeah. And he does hikes. Yeah, she Saint hikes for here in, yeah, Saint, in Catherine. Saint Catherine with, uh, with me. And uh, are you happy or not? Yes. It's huh? very beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah, tell them, come. Yes, come. I'll put the link below if you guys want to do a hike in Saint Catherine and he'll give you a very authentic experience. With, with the Bedouins. And that was the full day and we rode back an hour and a half to Dahab. It's a very long day. We're home now. This is the crystal that Muhammad found on the ground. He, gave, he found one for Leila and one for me. Anyways, thank you for joining me in that journey. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was crazy. I learned so much. Yeah. So I hope you learned stuff too. Bye. Love you. Stay extraterrestrial. Stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video.